MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Milwaukee Brewers. Into the box, Kevin Newman, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Now a swing and a fly ball. Yelich on the move. He's there and records the first down. So here's Adam Frazier. Hit on the ground out to short. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Standing in now, Brian Reynolds. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. He's running. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Josh Bell the next to hit. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He chases out of the zone for strike three. And that's the third out of the inning. Here now is the center fielder Lorenzo Cain to get us started in the bottom half of the first. The two and one on its way. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. Frazier will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty and that'll bring up the versatile utility man Brock Holt. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Again, another foul ball. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Frazier is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Next for Milwaukee, Christian Yelich. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Shoots this one over to first. Oh, a diving stop. It's in time. Next for the Buckos, Colin Moran. It's been a great series for him at the plate. Five for eight so far. The one two. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Here's Gregory Polanco. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. Polanco. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Into the box, Kevin Kramer. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. They'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Two and one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. well above the letters with the fastball that time no pitcher likes to take the count to three and two especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two that one wasn't even close 
Yelich is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Keston Hiura. The 2 1. Three balls, one strike. Hit out towards second. Newman's got it. And a good throw gets him one gone. Digging in now for the Brewers. Omar Narvaez. One out, nobody on. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Grounded back up the middle. Newman brings it in. And there's out number two. So here's Abisayu Garcia. Head to head against Chris Archer. He's told him four hits in 16 tries. He also has one home run. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Chris Archer, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. 1-1. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now batting. So digging in now, Kevin Newman, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Up next to Pittsburgh. At the plate, Adam Frazier. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Yelich is under it. Two down. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. He set the 2-2. Two -two. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Settling in now, Eric Sogard. He'll stand in against Chris Archer to get the inning underway. All even now, two and two. And another foul ball. Another 2-2. Two, two. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So the switch hitter Justin Smoke steps up. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So here now is the pitcher, Freddie Peralta, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Archer looks in. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1-2. and two. Hey, this offense is going to have to change their mindset. If they're going to get swing and misses on that slider, you know he's going to go to that well. They are going to have to be willing to take the ball the other way. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now 
the bat. Third baseman. Colin. To the plate now. Colin Moran. One and now as that one's fouled off. Misses. Ball two. Still even at two and two. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Now batter, right fielder, Gregory. So now to the plate, Polanco. Gregory Polanco. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Chopped back to the mound. Can they turn it? Holt for one. The smoke at first, and they get them both. Standing in, Kevin Kramer, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Bell at third with two away. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Three one the count of the Pirates shortstop. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a three one count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. Now that stepping in and ready for another shot. Jacob Stallings two men on two away here in the fourth. Ready with the one one and it's fouled away. One and two here it is. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed and with that the side is retired. to the top of the order now and that'll bring up the center fielder Lorenzo Kane. and a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball two and two his heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. And there's one down now. Digging in, Brock Holt. He flew out in his last at bat. Brock Holt now with a full count. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. For short, hit hard. He's right there. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Striding in, Christian Yelich. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Two and two now. We're two away, and the base is empty. And he fouls this one off. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Fouled away. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. This is hit pretty well out to left field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And the pitcher scheduled to bat next. That'll bring up Chris Archer. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Nice.
now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two popped up back behind second Hira has a play one out so the lineup flips now over and digging in Kevin Newman last Kevin time Newman. through was a base hit the one one this year against right handed pitching Newman is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau source of pride for him I'm sure hit high and deep carrying towards the corner but this will land untouched ready on two balls and two strikes here it comes over to smoke at first and there are two away and that will bring in Adam Frazier He's one for two in the ball game. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. One and two, here it comes. That's a ball. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Payoff pitch one more time. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And no one will get this one. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Popped him up. Nubarez moving to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Omar Narvaez. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. So it was a swinging strike three. Omar Narvaez was retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. And he lays off a pitch down and away. Ball two. This is hit pretty well out to left field. It's down for extra bases, and the Brewers have their first hit of the game. And he'll pull into second with one away. The third baseman, Kevin. Kevin. At the plate now, Eric Sogard. He pulls this one into right. That's in there. Base hit. The run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. The first baseman, number 12, Justin. Into the box now, Justin Smoke. Uh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. One and two to the Brewers pitcher. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Hit in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Brent Suter takes over to start the sixth now, inning on the mound. Number 35. Brent. Brent. Top half of the Good sixth girl. about to get started. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. One and one, here it comes. A ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. The first base so now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Josh Bell, who was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. One ball and two strikes to count. The one-two. is a fastball taken high for a ball. Oh. 
just hung in there on that one. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he now toughs out a walk. The third baseman calling Moran. The 1-1 one, one home. Sinks below the knees, taken for a ball. This is hit the other way out toward left field. There to play it is Garcia, and that becomes out number two. Now batting, Gregory now batting. Polanco. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. The one two. Two ball, two strike. Hit off towards second. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Cain. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 2 1 home. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 2 2. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Stepping in, Brock Holt. Over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. A 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And here's Christian Yelich now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The set and the 2 and 1 pitch. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3 1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Looked like that one tied him up a bit. A swing and a miss. Fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and in at the plate steps Keston Huron. The 1-1 home is taken for ball two. Strike two called, and it's even at two really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that... Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Into the box, Omar Narvaez. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Your David Phelps is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 41. David. Striding into the box, Kevin Kramer. It was a walk in his last trip. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batter. In now, Jacob Stallings. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. 
Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Two balls and two strikes to count to the Pirates catcher. On the ground to the right side. Oh, look at the dive. Wow. Jose Osuna will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hitting for the Pirates. Number 36. Jose Osuna. Hit high and deep to right center. Yelich is after it. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Richard Rodriguez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring up Abi Sayul Garcia. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Reined in. And there's one away. Ready once again. Eric Sogard singled home a run in his last time up. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Lifted the other way to left center. Reynolds is on the move for it. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. The first baseman, number 12, Justin. In now, Justin Smoke. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And this one will bounce into the wall. To second now, but he's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Brian Braun will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. So a runner at second. Two down now. And that'll bring up Lorenzo Cain. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Fouled off. The two two is laid off of for ball number three. Brock Holt would be next. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Alex Claudio has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 58. So the Pirates' batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman, he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Weak grounder down the line at third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now back. Stepping up now, Adam Frazier. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, but everything looked clean. He was on time. He looked powerful in the box. I guarantee you he wants that swing back. He's still thinking about it as he walks to the plate right here. Next for Pittsburgh, the center fielder, Brian Reynolds. Standing in now, Brian Reynolds. Down low, two balls and a strike. This ball will be chopped foul. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. Sinker, three and two now. 
not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Over to Smoke at first, and there are two away. Ready for another chance? Josh Bell, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to Smoke at first, and the side is retired. Nick Purdy is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Brock Holt. Here it comes on one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Swing and he pops him up. And that's in there. Base hit. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. To the plate now, Christian Yelich. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And in at the plate steps Keston Huron. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. One and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Hit out towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now that is catcher. At the plate, Omar Narvaez. And it's fouled away. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. Two two pitch is fouled away. That's lifted the other way out to left. Frazier is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. So here is Abisayo Garcia. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. This one skied out toward right. Polanco on the run. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. The third baseman, Digging seven. in to try it again. Eric Sogard. So far, two for three in this one. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. This is pulled into right. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. A run in. Here's a second runner around third. He comes across to score. And it's now a six-run lead. Robbie Erlin comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Stepping in now, Justin Smoke. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. This is popped up. Stallings over to his left, and that's the third out. All 
set to start the ninth in this one and set to go as the third baseman Colin Moran. The one one pitch. As anticipated here's a ground ball now to the right side and that is in the right field so the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. Now that right fielder Gregory Polanco into the box now Gregory Polanco grounded back up the middle and there's a base hit as well as that's into center field two straight hits to kick off the ninth. The battle, number 44. At the plate now Kevin Kramer and a swing and a miss as that looked like self defense there it's two and two. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Corey Knebel will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Jed Jerko will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Standing in now, Jacob Stallings sent in the air out to straightaway center. Keen is there, and he has it for the first out. Eric Gonzalez will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. First and second now, one man out. Uh, he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Kevin Newman. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Three balls, one strike. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. In the dirt here. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Now a crowd of 31,000-plus come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. 7-2, to two, the final score this afternoon. Milwaukee wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Brent Suter earns a league-leading 11th win of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.